In these problems, we are being given the circumference of a circle, and we have to find either the diameter or the radius. And just to review, the diameter of a circle is that line that goes all the way across the circle through the center. And a radius of a circle is half of that. So half of a diameter is a radius. So it just goes from the center of the circle out uh, to the edge of the circle. So diameter is twice the radius. Radius is half the diameter. And all we need to solve these problems is really just a formula for the circumference. The circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, or it's just pi times the diameter, because 2r is 2 times the radius is the diameter. So either one of those works. Uh, so uh, you know you may want to use this formula when you're trying to find the diameter and this formula when you're trying to find the radius. This problem says the circumference of a circular field is 285.74 yards. What's the diameter of the field? And use 3.14 for pi. You know pi is one of those numbers that the decimal goes on forever, so we usually use an approximation of pi. And in this case, uh, approximating to 3.14 is good enough. And it says, do not round your answer. So let's go ahead. We're trying to find diameter. Let's use this formula. The circumference is 285.74, so I'm going to put it in right there. 285.74. It says to use 3.14 for pi, so I'm going to put that in there. So this is 3.14. And then I've got my D for diameter that uh, we're going to solve for. So to solve for D, we would need to divide both sides by 3.14. So let me pull out my calculator here. 285.74 divided by 3.14. And I got 91, nice even number. So in this case, D equals 91. And our units here were yards. So that is the diameter of that circular field. Let's take a look at one more here. This one says uh, the circumference of a circular painting is 31.4 feet. What's the radius of the painting? And again, use 3.14 for pi and don't round. So um, let's use this formula right here since we're looking for radius. The circumference is 31.4. So I'll put that in for circumference. And then we've got our 2 and our pi. They're telling us to use 3.14. And radius is what we're solving for. So what we need to do here is divide. Well, let's go ahead and multiply the 2 times 3.14. So that's going to be 6.28. And then let's divide both sides by 6.28. That should leave r alone on one side. So that's 31.4 divided by 6.28. Ah, and I get r equals 5, and our units were feet in that case. So that is how to find the diameter or the radius of a circle when you're given the circumference.